Hi, this is Mr. Fleming, and this is for my R3 and my R4, my upper level drawing classes. Now, please watch these videos during the scheduled time. We are going remote um, January 4th to January 11th, and hopefully, we'll be back at school after that. But just in case, please understand if we are going to go remote. I want to put videos up there of the Google's doc that you need to fill out, and that will be my attendance. But if you don't watch the video during the scheduled time, you will not be marked as being in class. So keep those things in mind. Now, we are talking about getting a final draft drawing done by the 11th. So at home, I want you to work on the process of um, rough sketches, um, thumbnails to final draft. Now, with the upper level kids, that one is pretty much understood. And we were working with figure drawing, and the last project we got done was a figure drawing. So what I want to see this one is movement. Now, you can see up here, I have the figure. He's in my far, um, the far ground, he's moving to a mid ground, he's moving to foreground, and now he's moving out of the picture plane. That's an obvious one to do, and it's really easy to create motion when you have four quadrants like this, and you just simply have to move the character differently. But you don't have to. You can use the same picture plane. Now, we talked about figure drawing and how to set up a figure drawing, and we went through gesture drawings, and we broke the figure down into geometric parts. So keep those lessons in mind. What I'm going to do is work with different weights of the line. So over here, I have a one. This is maybe an eight, and this is just huge And with these different lines. So let's talk about what we can do here. Let's talk about gesture drawing and the different ways to make the gesture. So you want to go in there and kind of know where your body parts are, what you want to do. This person's going to be falling. And I'm just going to make... I just want to get a quick gesture down of how I want the body to be. Here's his head, here's his shoulder. And that gives me enough to go, to go in as far as what I want them to do. I can get the details down I want. I want to make sure I do know where the basic parts are, and now I've got everything, so I'm going to go in there. and Here's my shoulder. Here's my other shoulder. Here's my thumb. I did all my gesture work beforehand so I know exactly where my body parts are. And I know he seems like he's falling, um, he's upside down, but I want him to be falling from the air, and that'll be the motion. Now I have a single figure here in the picture plane. And there's my figure. So now I have my figure, and I made the figure kind of falling. What I'm going to do now is change the weight of the line. I'm going to make these trail lines going up. That will help give the motion. And I'm going to change my weight to a thinner one. And that will help give my sense of motion. Okay, so I have a figure, it's falling, I had the trail lines here, and that's one way to kind of get motion into my picture plane. Over here, I have a different one. What I'm going to do is three figures. And again, you want to kind of get your major gesture down there first. I'm going to be too small for you guys to see. So get your major gesture down there first. That's all you really got to do. Once you understand how the body's going to move, I'm going to go in there and work that gesture out just a little bit. Here's my arm.
Don't forget about the feet. <laughs> I have a lot of figure drawings for the last project, and a lot of them have no feet. <laughs> I don't know why you guys don't like feet, but they're an important part. So there's my first figure. What I'm going to try to do is make the figure dash out. Again, I'm working with my gesture. Now the gesture drawing is a little bit different than the thumbnails. Uh, we've worked on how to do gesture drawings in your sketchbook and they are a little bit different than the usual thumbnails. You should have several gestures done, much like the thumbnails, but only you know, really having to work within a particular picture plane. You may want to design your thumbnails in your rough, but really the gestures can work differently. I'm going to work over here, and I'm going to move into a thicker one too. And again, let's get that gesture in there. Once I get the gesture in there, I can kind of build off of that. So here is my gluteus maximus, my hip. Here's my knee. Here's the calf. And here's my knee. All right, so those are my roughs. Um, they're not really thumbnails, they're really roughs for my motion, my body in motion. I have two different examples here. You don't have to put more than one figure in there. You can use just one figure, but you have to design it in a way in which there is clearly motion. So here I have the motion going down, the figure is falling out of the sky. Here the dancer is moving in three different steps, but the motion is across the page. You have a week at home, and I'm expecting five hours worth of drawing from you. The project is to be done and passed in on January 11th. You're supposed to have thumbnails, roughs, and a final draft. This would not be considered final. This is really more of a rough. This might even be considered thumbnails. But I'm looking for your design to be part of the project, and I'm looking to get a final product done. Please keep in mind your sketchbook. If this project is done, you're still expected to work in that sketchbook. I'm looking for five hours. I'll be sure to draw in my sketchbook so we can look at each other's drawings. Feel free to add anything you want. Do your still lives, do animals, do portraits, do friends, whatever you like. But you got to draw in that sketchbook because in the end, art will not make itself. So I look forward to seeing you back in class. Be well and I have nothing else. Bye-bye.